Hi guys and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be looking and reacting to our predictions from the first weekend of the Premier League season. It wasn't the greatest, was it? <laughs> I'm looking at these, but we'll we'll see what happens now, yeah? Okay, so first of all, it was Arsenal against Leicester on the opening evening of the yeah. Premier League. I think that's the first time it's ever been uh, opening, night, yeah, yeah. the opening fixture where Arsenal came victorious 4-3. Yeah. But Leicester almost won. Didn't they did. They they yeah. Started that's out. why I said they go one nil. That on my prediction. That's right. Well, Jamie Vardy yeah. of course got a couple of goals. I think Ozaki. Ozaki. Okazaki. 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 That's right. Yeah. Okazaki opened and score. Opened the scoring, of course. Um, and it wasn't until the eighty third minute that uh, substitute Aaron Ramsey came on and and equalised. And then in the final five minutes, Olivier Giroud scored the winner. Yeah. So, how unfortunate did, for me. Unfortunate for you? Yes. So the result was 4-3, you had a 1-0, and I had 2-1. So neither of us predicted the correct score, but I had the pr correct results. So that's one point for me yeah. and zero for you. Yes. Okay, going on to the second match, which was Watford versus Liverpool in the lunchtime match yep. on Saturday. Very exciting game again. We only saw the first half, of course. Yep. And I think Watford opened the scoring in the first half through Okaka. Then Mane equalised, Decor scored for Watford to make it 2 all, and then Salah scored to make it 3-2 to Liverpool. And then finally, in the, in the dying embers of the game, I think it was three minutes into it, injury time, Watford then equalised to make it 3 all. Yeah. Neither of us actually predicted the draw, so I think you had 2-1 to one one and you did as well. Zero points for you and zero points for me. Okay, the third match was Chelsea Burnley. versus Burnley, and this was a, this was one of the shocks of the weekend. Yes, I think Burnley went at three nil. Yep. is that right? Yes, that is right. And then what happened? Um, and then uh, then then Chelsea yeah. came back, and it was three two. Although Chelsea did have two players sent yeah, off. Yeah, Cahill and Fabregas. That's right, Cahill. I'm not sure. Yeah. It was a, a bit of a a bad challenge when he didn't actually need to make that challenge, and Fabregas well. I'm not sure what he was doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Burnley, even though they were free to actually let Chelsea back into the game, and they were kind of lucky in the end to actually get away with that 3 2 victory. But uh, all the same, well yeah. done. Yeah, uh, the Sandbox, uh, the Welsh international striker, scored uh, two goals. Two goals, which was good. Well taken. Good, goals for, um, good for Chris Coleman's selection in, the, in September, it is. Okay, the fourth match was Crystal Palace and Huddersfield. Now, this was a shocker. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I saw this on a match of the day a bit, and um, honestly, yeah, Huddersfield won 3 0. But I can't say that Huddersfield played well, unfortunately. The, all I can say is Palace were absolutely all over the place. They could, just couldn't control their defence at all. Just, oh. Well, personally, for me, I thought, think it was the result of the weekend. Yeah, it was. First, but... first time in the Premier League in what? 45, 46, years, yeah. okay, it's been, only been going since the early 90s, but the top yeah. division, you know what we're talking about. Um, so 3-0 away from Palace, who've been in the top flight now for, oh, I don't know how many, how many since years, 2015. Five. Fantastic result for Huddersfield, um, gives them a lot of confidence going yeah. into the coming week, so well done Huddersfield. Although I don't think it'll last, that's all I can say. <laughs> but again, on the points predictor, zero for me and zero for you, yes. unfortunately. Okay, moving on to the next match, Everton versus Stoke. This ended in a 1-0 victory for Everton. Um, well, I predicted 2-0, and so did you believe it or not, so Everton, so you both got a point there. So you are still leading 2-1 overall. That's right. Okay, moving on to the Southampton and Swansea game. Uh, this ended in a stalemate of 0-0. Yep. Uh, I predicted 1-1, and you predicted... 1-0. <laughs> so unfortunately, so you get the point. Yeah, yes. zero for you and one for me. Uh, moving on again, do you want to go through the West Brom Bournemouth results? Okay, so um, West Brom actually won 1 0 against Eddie Howe's Bournemouth. Now, um, I predicted this to be 2 2 because they're both really. Um, they're sort of at the same level in the Premier League now. It's just Tony Pulis tends to just play nine centre backs. That's the problem. <laughs> you say nine centre backs? Yeah. yeah. Well, McCauley was actually missing for them, but yeah, I know well. Dawson's there. And. Uh, Hagazi scored the goal to, eventually, yes, for the, the for the one, yeah, for the one nil victory. Yeah. So, well done, West Brom, for opening their account for the the season. Yeah. And in the predictions, 
Um, well, uh, unfortunately, I predicted a draw of 2-2, and uh, you predicted 3-1 to West Brom, which... So that's a point for me. I don't know why you predicted that, honestly. I think, I think West Brom always make that kind of strong start to the season. They're at home as well, yeah. and they really ground out that, that result. I wouldn't have gone for such a high... Um, no, maybe one nil, maybe one nil. Yeah, is the, it's just a thing to predict. They're more of a defensive side, and they don't tend to attack at all unless they've got Rondon. But, Rondon, yeah, or Hal Robson Carnu. Just, I, I just think you're bonkers for doing that. Bonkers, honestly. really. Yeah. Hey, I got the point though. Yeah. Yes, you got, you got the point at least. And you got the zero points. Yes, and I got the zero points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. moving on then. We go for Brighton versus Manchester City, which was the evening kickoff. Brighton's first match, of course, back in the Premier League in yeah. absolutely ages. <laughs> Again, not sure. Yeah. I think it was the early eighties when they were back up in the top flight, perhaps. Yeah, early eighties. But um, so this was quite a straightforward victory for Manchester City. Mm. Aguero scored the first one after seventy minutes. Okay, they held that for the, yeah. a good hour and ten minutes. Uh, Brighton. And then Dunk, unfortunately for Dunk, for uh, yeah. Brighton scored an own goal. And it was a 2-0 victory for for um, Manchester City. Um, yeah, so the result was 2-0. Now, believe it or not, I actually predicted 2-0. So I get three points. Spot, spot on prediction. And I had... You predicted 2-1. So two you only got to get a point. So, um, okay, yeah. so currently it's four points to me and five points to you. That's right. So I could come back. And we've got two fixtures remaining. Um, on to Sunday now, where Newcastle were playing Tottenham, Tottenham at, St. Yes. at St James's Park. Um, we um, this was a bit of a um, this was well a I bizarre thought, match. Yeah, I think it's bizarre. I think Newcastle should have done a lot better than they did until Voldemort or um, John Shell Shelby um, got yeah. up to his old tricks really and stamping on um, Deli Alley, mm-hmm. um, and then it was all downhill then for. Uh, for Newcastle, and they eventually ran out to 2-0 winners. Yeah, mind that is typical of John Joe Shelby, I've got to be honest. You know, as a captain, he's really got to be setting an example to the rest of his players, really. And he let them down, unfortunately. Yes. So then, it was 0-0 at half-time, but yeah. in the second half, Deli Ali popped up to make it 1-0, and then Ben Davis, the full-back, yep. scored on the 70th minute to make it 2-0. And... Unfortunately for Newcastle fans, you lost. Yeah, if Voldemort would have stayed on, then they <laughs> might have. Um, they might have held it a nil nil. But that's what happens when you go down to ten men these days. That's unless right, Real Madrid. Well, Dwight Gale may have used his pace later on in the second yeah. half, but they were all over the shop then, down to ten men. And prediction wise, terrible on this one, I'm afraid. And um, you picked two one to Newcastle, Newcastle yeah. and I picked one one. So it wasn't to be, and we both end up with zero points for yes. that match. And the final game of the weekend was Manchester United versus West Ham, where Man United ran riot. Yeah. Do you want to talk us through this game? Well, um, West Ham did hold, hold it out at the beginning of the game. They did play quite well until, um, obviously, Lukaku scored the first goal in the first half, which off made the it 1-0. Off the post yes. as well, it looks like it was going wide. And then um, um, he, sto- he scored again after um, half-time, and then at the end of the match, they just fell apart. West Ham. I think Martial came on as a substitute yeah. and scored, didn't he? Yeah, he came on and Pogba in the 90th minute, so... so it was a bit of a rout yeah, for then, West Ham. Yeah, West Ham And they're away again on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, because um, currently with all the athletics going on in their grounds, they can't play at home until like mid-September, October. Same with uh, Newport County, because they're getting their pitch relayed as well. Right. So yeah, that's, why, that's why Newport <laughs> County were in the North Division of um, the EFL Cup, which... Raised a few eyebrows, didn't it? With it you? did, yes. Yeah. But obviously, they couldn't play against West Ham because neither of the teams could play at home. Could play at home. So, so uh, well done the uh, the organisers for yeah. that one, really. Uh, so Man- let's let's go back to the Manchester United match then. Four uh, 0 I predicted a two 0 victory for Manchester United, so I get a point. Yep. And I predicted a three two win to West Ham. I don't know what I was thinking. A bit of a shock. But, I um, thought West Ham would get off to a good start, and then Mourinho would just flop like he always does on the first game of the season. So yeah. <laughs> does he? Yes, he always does. Okay. Right. So overall, then overall points. I, and I was see actually. The I was actually surprised that Mourinho didn't park the bus at the end of the game as well. At four 0 Why would he? he would no, I'm talking about a two 0 I do. I still don't know why he didn't park the bus. 2 0, yeah, maybe, but uh, they but, actually got. Um, yeah, it's quite I think they had a bit actually. of a different proposition maybe this year. They got Lekaku yeah. up front, Rashford had a, an excellent game yeah. as well. 
So let's have a look at the final score, shall we, on the doors? Yeah. So I end up with six points. And, and I end up with four. You end yeah. up with four points. Um, you had one perfect score correct However, and one yes. result right. And I had six Results correct, correct results yeah. and four wrong. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to get them spot on, though, I've got to be honest. Well, it gives you that yeah. three points. So if you would have just got two of them, we could, you would have been on the same If it would have been... Um, yeah, if I would have put that 1-0 for the uh, Man United game and um, and like West Brom Bournemouth, then it would have been fine. You would have been fine, but yeah, there um, we are. That's, uh, yeah. So that's the end of uh, the first week's results. So we're going to be back in a couple of days with our predictions for week two of the Premier League season, 2017-2018, yes. where I'm hoping I'm going to do a little bit better and maybe actually predict a correct score this week. And hopefully I'll get more than uh, four points, yeah. That's right. Onwards and upwards. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you real soon. Bye. Cheers now. Bye.